I wish I could invite every one of you to the wedding. That is not possible. I'm sure you appreciate the store must remain open. And so I need you here to take care of things for me in my absence. You will be represented at the service by Dudley, Miss Audrey, and Arthur, who I'm sure has told every one of you. A dress suit and a favour. <laughs> but let no man call me cold-hearted. You'll have your own celebration. On Saturday, on Saturday, when the store closes, there will be drinks and food for all. I hope you will toast to my future. Thank you for coming. I... I thought it best that we spoke somewhere... away from the store. Sir, if you do not want me to return to the paradise... I cannot marry Catherine. I've said it to myself... a hundred times. But when I saw your face today... When I spoke, I... You know why. You see it every time I look at you. Isn't that so? Yes. <sighs> yes, it is. I've tried to deny it, but I... I just can't make myself stop. To hear you say those words, I can barely believe <sighs> decided that I, I must face everyone and tell them the truth. It is a terrible mess, but it will be worse if I go on. These moments that we have together, it's so easy between us. If we let this moment pass, we will live with such regret. I cannot endure that. I have been told that the feelings fade with time. But I did not want to believe it. I did not want to accept it. <sighs> I will tell Catherine. There will be hell to pay and scandal, no doubt, but it will pass. When all this settles down, Catherine will see that this is for the best.